hey guys welcome back and i hope you guys are doing well today i'm gonna just do a little bit of an experiment i wanted to see if i can use my usb microphone into two different pcs one at a time so that i can kind of switch around without struggling to kind of manipulate and pull the cable and put it in another port so to do that i kind of picked up something from amazon it's called a usb 3.0 sharing switch that means i can use one usb at a time in either of the pcs in whichever way i want to kind of use it the only thing is i need to press the button to kind of switch it from a to b or b to a or something in that line and this is something from id sonics and it's called a usb 3.0 and by the way this is just my experiment that i'm doing randomly off stuck with the issue so this basically allows us to kind of switch a usb one at a time from one pc to another that's what I understood. It basically says bi-directional, so that means I can kind of use it in uh, either of like one input, two outputs, or two outputs into one or something like that. Let's see how it kind of solves this. Now, let's actually quickly open this up. It's a quite a self-explanatory kind of unboxing. It doesn't need any kind of close-ups and all that because it probably just comes with the switch and some USB cables and all that stuff. So let's actually wrap open this. Alright, so here are the two USB-A cables and I'm gonna just kind of use this switch to kind of make sure the signal is sent from one input and two outputs. So let's do that. Alright, so this is the USB-A to USB-A. So let me actually switch to the computer and we'll see how it kind of uh, works. Like, so take this uh, switch, uh, put one of these USB cables in this. This will go to my computer one at a time. This is the first this is the second all right so this is how it looks uh, after we kind of plug the two usb cables now let's actually hit back to my computer and we'll see how this actually changes once i plug in the microphone so this is my usb switch it's uh id sonics as you have seen in the unboxing so here's my microphone input jack so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just put this in here and uh, now connect one of this to my desktop and we'll see if I can just kind of turn on my PC and see if it, can, it detects this uh, uh, as an input, one of the input. And then what I'll do is I'll play around my another uh, device, probably a smartphone for now, and see if in case it picks up this signal. So let's do this. All right, so as you see, my uh, light on the microphone is actually kind of lit up right now. So that means the input signal is being detected. That means the power is actually getting here. Now let me actually bring my phone and see if in case this one actually detects this at the same time. And we'll see if in case it kind of makes the magic. All right, so I've actually plugged one of this uh, cable into my phone as well. Now let's see if I can just kind of make it work via this. And see if in case I have a recorder. Yes, probably. Let's see if I can detect this. Uh, let's see what if I hey guys I hope uh, this is being recorded yep as of now it doesn't kind of capture the touch that I'm doing as you see let's now press this button And right now, yep, it's actually working. Yep. So this is how you can actually kind of use something like this to play around two devices at the same time and kind of work out this problem of not struggling with cables every time when you kind of uh, use different pieces for Alright guys, so as you have seen in my video that you can actually use something like this to kind of solve a basic problem of using two devices maybe attached to two different PCs at a different time so that you can kind of overcome this problem of struggling with cables. And this is really good and quite beneficial for someone who's having multiple uh, laptops or desktop, one for office and one for personal use and so on. It kind of helps solve this basic problem. 
so i hope you have liked this quick tidbit about this experiment uh, let me know if in case you have any questions this is basically a plug and play kind of an environment so you don't need much of these drivers and all that fancy stuff to get started with this